Good morning, guys. Guess what? Today is my nine, is it nine months? Oh my God. 10 month. It's my 10 month tummy tuck update. Okay. I am pretty proud of the progress I've been making in the gym, as you will see shortly. But I also wanted to show you and talk about the little nuances that have been um, evolving over the last month. Um, I was, I'm still on my 60 day challenge. I just have not been posting because I have an issue with my edited video uploading to YouTube. But when I'm able to fix that problem, y'all will get a bunch of videos. Until then, here is what I'm looking at like on my nine, not nine month, my 10 month, 10 month tummy tuck update. Okay guys, this is what I'm looking like. As you can see, I am leaning out quite a bit, which I like. You can still see my scar here and my burns here. Um, my scar is fading, but as I shrink, it's getting darker. So I know that will um, that will actually disappear over time. I'm pretty confident about that. I'm actually formulating a um, body wash that would help brighten dark marks on the body because I have like dark elbows, knees, and in the growing area, I also want to brighten and soften these up and also this and this. I also wanted to show you the progress on my back. Remember I had a really big back boob? It is disappearing, guys. But the um, where my tubes were, where the ending marks are, still a little dark. But that is fine. Um, my scars are great. It's just one line. They are easily hidden under a string or a thong. Um, and... I still got my curves. I have no fibrosis. I still have this little pooch here. It it has, the swelling has gone down tremendously, if you can see. It's a tiny little hump, hardly noticeable now. If you look at the last update, you will see that um, the hump was much bigger. But it's there, but it's really minimal, and I could actually feel the muscle underneath now. Um, as for my feeling, I actually have my feeling back. I can feel it. I could feel like normal here, but here I can feel, but it's like a light tingly. Um, but I'm really happy with the progress because my full feeling, like normal, 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 is almost completely back. Um, I My navel still looks like a normal navel. And that's about it guys like this is where my tube came out of and it's doing fine my back boob is almost gone and i'm really happy with my progress i have full feeling back i am doing ab concentrated workouts now so you could i'm trying to work on getting my abs in there's a little definition so they should be in in, in a few months um but yeah, I am pretty happy with my results 10 months in. And I can honestly say it keeps getting better. It just just keeps getting better. My physique, I like I love my body. The scars really don't matter. They're fading. I'm just I'm just I've learned to have patience with myself. And um it's just like it's like a, like a it's a new journey. It's a new freaking journey and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that when I go to the gym and I eat right and I manage my stress and I, and I meditate that I don't have to wait six months to see results. I love that when I do ab concentrated workouts, it's so friggin easy. I love the fact that I don't have no more back issues. I love that I don't have any more back issues. Having direct, uh, is it called diastasis erecti? When your muscles are separated, you literally don't have any core stability and affects 
not just that, it affects your whole body. So I don't have to have my hips aligned at the chiropractor anymore. He just works on my, on my shoulders because I was in two head-on collisions two and a half years ago. So I'm still having a little issues with that and it's getting better over time, but no more back issues. And ab workouts are so, I can't even, I can't even explain to you how easy they are. Anyway, if you're going to do a tummy tuck, like it goes beyond just the aesthetics, as you can see, like I love my body minus the scars. I don't care. I don't care about the scars, but it heals so much more like your self-esteem, the way you look in clothes. My posture is better. No more back pain and workouts are so much easier. Like it goes beyond just the aesthetics. Anyway, that is my 10 month tummy tuck update. I am in love with me. I'm in love with the fact that I chose to do this for myself. I love that my body feels whole now. I love that I'm in so, I don't experience any more pain on a daily basis. <sighs> do what you gotta do for you, okay? Do what you gotta do for you. But I'm just saying, it was worth every moment of discomfort every of every scared moment that i was second thinking myself doubting myself it was worth it because it was a part of a journey i needed to to get to this point don't think too hard just do it because you will think yourself out of a decision that is actually good for you i love you guys thank you for walking on this journey with me and in four weeks you will see another update because um i'm excited to show you my results because after my birthday, which is in about a little less than three weeks, um, I will have aesthetic updates for you because I'm trying to get my body to a point where it has never been before and I'm on a good track to get there. My um, PRs at the gym. I am so proud of me. I just can't. I am so proud of me. Anyway, um, I don't know how to really fill my workouts in a gym, but I'm actually figuring it out. I take my tripod to the to the gym just to get comfortable with it and um, get my workouts in. But eventually I'll show you what I'm doing in order to build my physique. I'm trying to tone and get rid of the, the bulge right now and build up and tone my muscles and get strong right now. And I actually have some goals I want to do after I reach the point. So I will share with up that with you it's another journey i'll be on we're always on our journey guys always on our journey but enjoying the journey just makes it it just makes it worth the excitement because i'm excited to go on these journeys like my hair journey i cut off all my hair because it was so damaged and now i'm also working on my hair color line because my my daughter as well after you apply heat blah 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 like i cut off all my hair i got i got yeah, I got like a low fave right now, but right now protective styles the whole way through and I'm learning different things to mix together in order for a healthy scalp and healthy hair growth from the inside out and how to maintain it. So this thing, you know, I'm on, I'm on it and I'm taking you on this journey with me and I want you to see firsthand, first hand. Okay, guys. Anyway, I love you. I will see you next time and I hope you have an amazing day.